Kilauea volcano erupts on Hawaii Island. Drawing crowds for vacation. One of the world's most active volcanoes erupted Monday after a three-month hiatus, spewing 300 feet of bright orange lava, according to the United States Geological Survey USGS. Kilauea volcano on Hawaii Island, also known as the Big Island, began erupting around 2.20 a.m. and continued throughout the day, drawing crowds to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is open to the public 24 hours a day. The USGS also streamed live footage of the spectacle. By 5.30 a.m., 500 acres of lava covered the floor of the caldera, a large depression formed when a volcano erupts and collapses, according to the National Park Service. Photos and video obtained by CNN showed fountains of lava flowing and spreading across the caldera floor. It's a very exciting moment, this is a very large, very powerful eruption, Ken Hun, chief scientist at the USGS's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said in a live stream chat. The eruption happened quite quickly. This is the fifth eruption to occur at Kilauea's summit since December 2020, he said, adding that lava flows have covered a 400-acre lava lake that began in 2020. Between 3 and 4 p.m., the volcano's activity began to slow significantly, scientists said. By about 5 p.m., experts reported that the area around the volcano was only about a square mile in size. The lava was also estimated to be about one yard thick, according to a release issued by the USGS. Authorities assured the public that nearby communities were not threatened by the eruption because it was within a national park, but the level of volcanic gas emissions was very high and was spreading downwind from the crater, affecting air quality, the USGS said. The National Park Service advised people with respiratory and heart conditions to exercise caution. A plume of red lava and a wave of volcanic gas began erupting from Kilauea on Hawaii's Big Island, one of the world's most active volcanoes. The eruption is confined to the volcano's summit caldera, in a remote and closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, the Hawaii Volcano Observatory reported. The increase in seismic activity began about 2 a.m. local time, and within about half an hour, Webcam images began showing lava emerging through cracks in the caldera erupting like a fountain. Live footage of the eruption, broadcast by the U.S. Geological Survey on Monday, showed a plume of hot lava shooting upward, followed by a plume of gas and volcanic ash that rose as high as 260 feet 80 meters, Monday morning. The lava is coming out at a very rapid rate, as is typical at the start of these eruptions, Ken Hun, scientist in charge at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, said during a USGS livestream. The most immediate threat is volcanic ash that could reach homes downwind, the observatory said. The smoke contains sulfur dioxide and can worsen symptoms for people with conditions such as asthma, other respiratory problems or cardiovascular disease. The area where the eruption occurred has been closed to the public since 2007 because of hazards including crater wall instability, ground cracks and rock falls. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park encompasses the summits of two of the world's most active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Kilauea also erupted in June and September this year, and except for a quiet period between 1924 and 1952, the mountain has erupted periodically since written records began. Eruptions can last for a few days, or last as long as a year. In 2018, Kilauea erupted from May to August, destroying more than 700 homes. It is a shield volcano, a broad, massive formation that resembles a flat-lying soldier's shield unlike composite volcanoes that form conical peaks. In 2019, 
USGS scientists confirmed a growing water-filled lake within Halamau Mau Crater, an active vent within the summit caldera, marking the first time in modern history that water had been visible from the volcano's summit. In 2020, the 10-story deep lake evaporated as lava poured back into the crater.